Hello everyone, Dreeks here, and welcome back to Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. We've completed um, pretty much five stages you might say, not really, because some of them we do need to go back to with later upgrades. So not all of them are 100% complete, <laughs> but some of them are. Hurricoast is one of them, in fact. We got the talisman, but also all of the orbs and all of the gems. However, ladder climbing is one thing we are missing. That's also going to prevent us from fully completing Summer Forest, by the way, so... Your fault, Laura. <laughs> you should be teaching us that move quicker. However, that's something we are not able to do. And therefore, we are completely done with this um, third hop room, you might say, of Summer Forest. And it's time for us to move on to the next one. We're also able to get ourselves all the way to the end part of it already. But first, some more stages. And here we have a special one. Let's go talk to Alora. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun. Say hello to the return of the Speedway stages. Ocean Speedway is going to be the first Speedway in Spyro 2. But first, Summer Forest needs some more collecting. <laughs> There's another orb actually hidden around here. This one is a bit tricky to get. We need to solve a puzzle in order to get it. There's another lock door right here that will close the moment we hit the switch. But in order to get the orb behind here, we need to be creative. Shut the door that will actually give us access to it, but that will open up the other door. And our creative brain will make us say... What if we use the windows to actually glide past that door? <laughs> Bit tricky to do, because the jump is not easy to make. But that is how we get behind here. And get ourselves the second orb of Summer Forest. Thank you very much. Next, let's go down here. Find money bags. He will not have an upgrade for us, unfortunately. But he will unlock something else. <laughs> say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Yeah, you do have a very good sales pitch, sir. That I must hand to you. Ah, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. How convenient. <laughs> and that will actually unlock the next tedious stage in this game. Aquaria Towers. I hope that it's going to be worth my 400 gems. <laughs> and this will bring us back to the previous room. Alright. That way we have everything. This corridor over here will lead towards the end of Summer Forest. And that is something we are not ready for. And that gives us the ability to choose between Ocean Speedway or Aquaria Towers to do. Um, Aquaria Towers is a bit more tedious, Ocean Speedway a bit more challenging. So, Aquaria Towers it is. <laughs> I choose tediousness over challenging. Aquaria Towers. This is a stage that definitely took me forever to find all of the gems. And the skill point in this stage was also absolute hell to find. <laughs> took me forever. But plus side is, because of it uh, being so difficult to find, I did remember how to find it for this time around. So this time around it should be a bit more of a smooth ride in that sense. Oh, seahorse people. Oh. However, aren't they supposed to be in the water? <laughs> At least being offered some water, but... Nope, you're not getting it. <laughs> well, the same guys from Turtle World have apparently returned and this time around they're over here in the seahorse world. Without any water. I'm pretty sure that is not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> the funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. We need to get the water back in this world. That is pretty obvious. We need to defeat these guys. And then hit the switches in order to get water back. However, I would recommend not doing it immediately. Because sometimes finding gems is a bit more easy. The moment there's still no water in the stage. <laughs> Even though it's still very difficult to find all the gems in the stage, like I promised. Some of them are in very tricky locations. And I have no doubt I'm going to forget a lot of them before I'm done with the stage. 
just like last time. But let's at least focus on the mission for now. Getting water back into this stage. However, hitting one switch is not going to be enough. As you can clearly see, it only fills the room partially. And the super flame will require 14 spirits. And that's also something we still don't have quite yet. Not even close. <laughs> We've barely only started after all, so... <laughs> Let's move on to the second room. Get you open. Gems hiding between the seaweed can also be interesting. Especially once they're green. <laughs> can also be easily overlooked, therefore. Second room. This one is still completely dry. It's a bit higher up, so... The level 1 water that we now have is not going to be enough to fill this room. Before we hit the switch, of course, first we make a sweep across the ground floor. Make sure we get all of the easy gems. Just a couple underwater over here. Hello, Mr. Crab. <laughs> open you up. Get you. We don't necessarily have to rush in order to get ourselves the super flame. We can only really use it the moment we are done making a full lap of the stage. Getting off the water in the stage. Oh, here's uh, a couple of robot sharks swimming around. And yes, there is something behind here, but um, trust me, you don't want to go in here. <laughs> the sharks are indestructible and cannot be defeated right now. For that, we definitely need Super Flame. Otherwise, we're not able to deal with them quite yet. Just remember where they are. And we also need to take them out for the achievement. For that reason, we also need to keep in mind that they are here. But there's actually also a second part in the stage where there's a couple of sharks. So for the achievement, we need more than just killing the ones over there. Something we're going to be meeting up with in a moment. Let's go see if there's something below here. I don't think so. It does not look like it. Let's not forget about this single red one. <laughs> and move on to the third room. Seriously, underwater electricity does not work like that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard about conducting? <laughs> anyway, let's not discuss game logic. Something that usually uh, ends in a bad way if you try to discuss video game logic. <laughs> in that sense, you can already start discussing about how the main character of this game is a dragon. A creature that officially does not even exist, so... <laughs> Another piece of dry land, I see. And I also see money bags. And I see a submarine. Ooh. Looks like a shark a bit. Interesting. I have a hunch the ride is not going to be free. <laughs> Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. And how modest are we talking? 100 gems. Hmm, that's indeed very modest. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shockproof. I guarantee it. Well, I'm paying a lot of money for it, so it better be. <laughs> As you can clearly see, this area also has a couple of metal sharks. Just like the ones we saw earlier, these ones you cannot get past normally. Therefore, our only way to get past here is through the submarine. Eventually, we still need to go in here. We need to kill these sharks for the achievement, but also get the gems that are in here, of course. <laughs> for that reason, we also need to get ourselves in here. But first, we need to activate the super flame before we're allowed to do that. Or before we're able to do that, I mean. <laughs> we are already allowed to go in there, but we simply won't survive. <laughs> That's a different story. Get all of the gems before filling up the room. Like always. More water for the seahorses. Also more water for us. And this way you get the gems up here. For some reason you're not allowed to get them the moment you get out of this corridor. I always thought it was strange. <laughs> you always uh, automatically jump off already. 15. That is already enough. 14 we need it, so the super flame is already active at least. Might as well finish off our lap of the stage first. Oh, I see some fodder. Thank you. Sheep with the helmet on. <laughs> and the lava uh, sparks is also actually uh, covered in a bubble. 
but let's go talk to you. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. Talisman received. And that makes six. But we are far from done in this world. We still have a lot of work to do. There's three orbs that we need to collect and also still a lot of gems. Now that the stage is fully covered in water, we can actually access all of the higher areas in the stage where some of the gems are going to be hidden. But we also have access to the super flame right now, giving us the ability to take care of a couple of other things as well. Mostly involving the achievement and skill point of the stage. First thing I'd like to do is go into this corridor we will force skip. Take out the sharks in here. One more. Or two more. Quickly, before it runs out, also take care of the red wheat in here. The red seaweed is what we need in order to get the skill point for this stage. There's going to be multiple of them hidden throughout the entire stage. And this corridor also has a couple of them, as you can see. Right, that should be everything in here. Taking care of this corridor. All of the gems, the seaweed, and the sharks. Yeah, as you can see, this is the reason why we need to double check everything. <laughs> there were indeed two more. Which apparently are difficult to hit. <laughs> there we go. 14 of 41. Next we want to go towards that other room. Where we saw the sharks. It's a bit tricky to reach. It's a side room of the second room. So I think this time around it's going to be safer to just go the normal route and not go backwards. Oh, swimming. Come on. Remains difficult. Especially whenever trying to do it fast. <laughs> first we want to take a look at the left over here. This red seaweed right over here took me forever to find the first time through. <laughs> Super annoying. Let's quickly reinitiate now that we're still in the neighborhood. Because I do need to have as much time as I can get in order to try to reach those sharks and also be able to take them out. And where are you? Oh, here you are. One, two, three, four. And that was everything. Achievement! Lockjaw. Destroy every Robo Shark. And the seaweed, of course. Don't forget about that. Um, yeah, that was everything. The rest of them is going to be in the final room of the stage. We have not even been to yet. If you take a look at the map, you will see there's one giant circular room we have not even seen yet. The final couple of seaweeds are also going to be there. Allow me to quickly check how many we need to find over there. Um, my notes say there are six of them. That is going to be hell to find them. But before we start talking about the seaweed in the final room, allow me to first get to that final room. <laughs> Which is indeed also a part of the stage that I uh, actually needed some time for before I was able to discover it even existed. <laughs> I of course did realize, hey, there are supposed to be three orbs. Where the hell are they? And what is the giant circular room on the map that we're not able to get to? <laughs> If we take a close eye in the first room, we will find all the way at the ceiling, there's an opening. And if we go through here, we are actually able to get out of the city <laughs> and find ourselves the outside area. Interesting how the biggest room of the stage is actually the most hidden. <laughs> and also the most important room because all of the orbs are going to be in here. Or at least um, the initiation of the mission. One of them does take place in the city itself, but um, we do need to initiate it up top. Now let's quickly find ourselves the six remaining seaweeds. I think the best bet is to just uh, swim around and then try to find them. <laughs> Definitely not too sure where all of them are. Here's four. Need two more. Five, come on. Where's that final one? I'm not going to be able to find that time by the looks of it. <laughs> Before returning, I think it's safe and smart to find where it is first. 
means I'm also getting all the gems. Oh, here you are. <laughs> Let's keep a pin on our map at the center. And that way we can easily find it again. After reinitiating the super flame. Right, turn to the center. Also see a purple gem lying around there, so remember that one. <laughs> and there we go. Skill point acquired. Where was the purple gem I saw lying around? Over here. <laughs> Thank you. Well, in that sense, we are almost done. I should have all of the gems by now, according to my notes, so apparently I did miss a couple. I'm pretty sure most of them are going to be somewhere around in this area. <laughs> Shouldn't be too difficult to find them. Oh, here's two uh, pots. You can also see both of the characters we need to talk to in order to... Do the orb missions. Well, um, I don't see a whole lot anymore, but I'm missing quite a lot of them. <laughs> 76 I still need. Oh, there's two of them at least. <laughs> 74 we need. <laughs> where are they? It's not like I'm missing two of them, I'm missing quite a lot of them. At the point where I should already have all of them. <laughs> Well, perhaps in order to save time, I think I'm going to do the missions first. I could take a quick look all the way at the higher areas. Um. Oh, yeah, indeed. There's indeed a couple of them. Yeah, this is why I consider this stage so tedious. The gems are pretty annoying to find. As you can see by how many I've missed. <laughs> I don't see them at first sight, so... I'll cut the episode and start looking for them later. First, let's go to Hunter and do the mission. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Manta ray racing. That sounds interesting. Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. Mission, ride the manta ray through the course. Difficulty, easy. In that case, let's try this. Oh, it's uh, interesting uh, controls. <laughs> Very sensitive controls. <laughs> oh, and I went the wrong way already. <laughs> oh, sir, you're in the way. I'll be with you in a minute during the next mission. <laughs> After these two orbs. There were two orb symbols above Hunter, therefore saying we need to do this twice. <laughs> this first one, really easy indeed. Well done. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. In one of your flippers? Your entire foot does not even fit into those. <laughs> I wish there also still an orb in there. <laughs> a man to race tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Try the harder course. <laughs> this first one was indeed way too easy. You bet. Okay, good luck. Mission, guide the manta ray through the harder course. Difficulty, not hard, but normal. <laughs> 17 rings this time around. Let's go see how this is going to be harder. Oh, sharp turn. It's indeed uh, a lot harder already. <laughs> I go through here. Interesting. Well, so far, the course is not per se more hard. The course is more interesting. <laughs> Incredible! You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. <laughs> of course. It was in his other flipper. <laughs> You're so predictable, Hunter. You do give me two orbs. 16 in total. Still one more we need to do. However, that's going to guide us through the entire stage again. Yeah, and since we're at the end of the episode uh, anyway, allow me to start looking for the final couple of gems and call today. I think I did miss a couple in the interior as well. We need to start looking at the top of the stage most of all, I think. <laughs> and all of the nooks and crannies. 49 I'm still missing. It's quite a lot. Where did I look over them? All the way at the top, very likely. 
I see something shiny over there. Guess what that is? <laughs> Still 39 I missed. Where? Oh, where? Oh, there's two pots on the sledge over here. So, still not all of them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must admit, this took me a while. Three laps across the course, but... Um, here is uh, the final four gems. <laughs> Go me. All the way in the first room, even. <laughs> but anyway... There's only one more thing we need to do in this stage, and that is getting the final orb. Aquatic Towers is almost finished. Next time we will make sure it is. Thank you for watching, and Treeks out.